Do you see this bell icon here? Hit it now and we'll ensure you get delivered the very best of reviews, interviews and pop culture content. I think a lot of them have that misconception that if you start doing small characters or supporting characters, uh, you lose your image and you will not get uh, uh, lead roles. I've done several supporting characters and he gave me Minal Murali. Superhero is a genre which demands something exaggerated always because people will easily com compare it with uh, franchises like Marvel or DC for sure. So we cannot stop them from comparing because it's th th the genre demands that exaggeration in it. We cannot make a small superhero movie. Yeah. We have to make it look big somehow, some way or the other. Basil Tovino, it's so lovely to have you on Film Companion. And Thank first you. of all, congratulations on Milner Murli. It's I enjoyed the film so much. Thank it, you so much. Um, it's so much fun, but it also has emotion. It's also uh, has so much comedy uh, and it's also very heartfelt. Uh, and there's just a real sense of innocence and sweetness at the core of it. Uh, and I was, as I was watching, I was really thinking that you're trying to do so much in this film, right? Because you have to um, do the check boxes of the superhero movies. So, you know, the origin story, the superpower, the costume, the villain. But you're also trying to make it authentic, make yes. the relationships uh, feel real yes. and set it all in this village in Kerala. Yes. So, what was the writing process like? Yes. And, and do we know how much were you involved? Did you come to him often or only when you had finished writing it? Yeah, coming to the writing process, uh, that uh, writing started in 2018 when our, one of our writer Arun came with the idea of uh, a village guy getting a super, uh, getting struck by lightning and getting a superpower. So uh, we have this restriction in our industry for not going beyond a certain budget because uh, we we are a small industry altogether. Uh, but superhero is a genre which demands something exaggerated always because people will easily com compare it with uh, franchises like M Marvel or DC for sure. So we cannot stop them from comparing because it's th th the genre demands that exaggeration in it. We cannot make a small superhero movie. Yeah. We have to make it look big somehow, some way or the other. So, so that was a very confusing state of whether to go ahead with this movie, uh, whether we have to take this risk of going ahead with this movie but then the producers the actors everyone uh, Tovino including Tovino our producer Sophia Paul and her son Kevin he is a big time superhero fan who are, who are, he, he's from Dubai so they have grown up uh, watching superheroes and he's a big time bat Batman fan so uh, they have been uh, motivating us a lot uh, into this uh, the process of uh, making this movie so coming to the writing perspective uh, we really wanted to make sure uh, the movie should work as a mo uh, as a emotionally yeah. uh, and then as a script the base should be strong and then if we spend budget on it it will look better we cannot just depend because we have a good budget even though it's a big budget in malayalam cinema perspective but in the compa compared to the big franchise movie it's very very limited so we cannot spend so much on vfx and action alone and uh, uh, do less with the script so we had to make sure it should work as a movie emotionally and connect with the audience and on top of that if our effort to make vfx work with practical effects and action sequences work on top of a good script that will be a bonus. Yeah. Uh, so even if we cut out the superhero elements in the movie, it should work as a good movie. I really do think about my parents watching the movie. They are not used to uh, movies at all, first of all. And they are not at all used to superheroes, uh, Spider-Man or Superman. So I am sure they will not get excited watching some action or some fancy but VFX. But they relate to the film, the emotion yeah. in the film. Yeah, fancy VFX or anything. Yeah. So they have to emotionally connect with the movie with some basic human emotions. They, ha they have to be grounded as much as possible. So we worked so much on the script, uh, made the base and then we spent on top of it. It's basically, it's, it's a template. It's, a template story. The, the genre it's experimented quite a lot because it's the biggest, most popular and most uh, money spending yep. uh, genre in the world. So best technicians from across the world are hired by the franchises. So the thought process is happening around this genre for quite a long time. So 
it's very difficult to find original ideas because somewhere or the other we will end up hitting the wall of some superhero. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, I've never seen really. a superhero who kicks a Tiffin box back up. So. <laughs> 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 yeah. I think you managed to be original. <laughs> I read that when you first listened to the script, you actually wanted to do the role that Guru Soma Sundaram has done. So, why did you want to play that role and how did he convince you to not do it? Even if we are not doing a movie together, we talk once in a while. And when we talk over phone, we'll talk for one hour or maybe more than that. We'll discuss crazy ideas, like we'll laugh for the serious jokes. But he told two reasons. First reason was, okay. But then I'll have to find someone else uh, who can pull off the superhero character because I have um, more movies lined up, Minal Muli 2 and 3. Then I was like, you are planning a Minal Muli 2. Okay, I'm doing <laughs> Minal Muli then. And, uh, he seduced you with the franchise yeah. ka dream. Another thing he uh, <laughs> told, I was flattered. Like, uh, he, uh, uh, back then, Guru Sir was not uh, um, casted for this character. So, he was like, um, humor and physique, it's a rare combination uh, and I want my character to be physically fit at the same time should be able to handle humor, should be able to do uh, action and should be able to express emotions. Uh, in certain areas it should be loud, in certain areas it should be subtle. So and he, we, as we are very good friends, we, we communicate very easily. And he knows my full potential. So he wanted, he told me, right now I don't um, think I can find a replacement for this character uh, other than you. Then I said, okay, <laughs> thank you, Basil. I, I love the compliment like, <laughs> coming from <laughs> Basil. Uh, more than a friend, I consider him as one of the best directors in Malayalam right now. Most successful. He has done Kunjaramayanam, was a season winner then. Goda. I work with him. I have seen him creating magic on screen. Um, as a friend, I love him. As a director, I respect him. So, uh, in one of the film companion interviews, I have told Bharadwaj Ranjan yeah. that if even if Basil uh, doesn't narrate me the script, if he wants to do a movie with me, I'll give blind dates. Like, okay, take it. How many, how many days do you want? So, that's the trust I have. It's not because he is my friend. It's because I've seen him working. Yeah. So, you know, when actors do superhero movies, uh, you always hear them talk about that first time they put the costume on. And especially the MCU actors talk about how electrifying it is to, you know, first be one of those characters. Did you have that experience at all? The working style, <laughs> though I'm here, it's very different. <laughs> I know, but you're wearing a costume. Mm -hmm. For me, I had to hold for hours whenever I wanted to urinate <laughs> because this is a full suit and it's not done in CGI. I'm actually wearing it and it's not motion capture. I'm actually wearing it. So, uh, by uh, evening 6 o'clock, I start shooting. Maybe I'll get a break at 10 or 12. Then again, I have to wear this. Then I get a break at 6 in the morning. So, that's how we shot. So it was not so electrifying. Caravan <laughs> was, was very far away yeah. because it's a, a big location and uh, so you have to travel a lot. I had to run to with a full bladder. <laughs> <laughs> so you cannot just remove the costume in the middle of the set. No? So, yeah. Yeah. so it's not as sexy as it looks. <laughs> <laughs> Also, there used to be so much of wear and tear happening yeah. in the costume. It, it's not <laughs> it was so. funny. <laughs> but but uh, when I did the costume trials, I went and stood in front of the window. It was a glass window in Mumbai. And I looked at the city and I felt like yeah. a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have pictures of that. <laughs> so when, when I tried uh, uh, the costume, uh, I felt like I'm a huge superhero fan. I even wanted to be a superhero when I was a kid. I thought someday I'll get superpowers and I'll become a superhero. <laughs> because I, the best thing about superheroes is everyone loves superheroes. And I crave for love. Like, <laughs> I'm someone who wants everyone to love me. And growing up, I realized both are not going to happen. People, everyone loving me and me becoming a superhero. 
but i got uh, so much unconditional love when i became an actor from the characters i, I did i i started getting a lot of unconditional love so i thought okay i'm i'm um, enjoying the uh, superhero uh, factor the unconditional love part i'm enjoying it and then basil uh, told me that um, i'm planning a superhero movie and i'm uh, planning to cast you as the hero i was i was like super excited <laughs> like at least in front of my daughter i can be the superhero exactly. we watched we watched it together me my um, father my mother my wife my kids uh, we all watched it together and we watched the movie from their faces and basil was concentrating on my daughter's face she was proud i have a superhero at my home <laughs> that's what, that, that was um, that's that so was how sweet. she uh, watched the movie yeah yeah that was the best reaction i can get from the audience because uh, i was wa- watching her seeing uh, a, a, an action sequence in the movie and she was all glued to the screen uh, that tension on her face was very evident and when the superhero revealed and she was like her eyes widened up and it's her father doing the superhero stuff saving people on screen that's kind of uh, uh, i cannot see that anywhere else yeah. it's her father as a super anyway our fathers are all superheroes this is literally a superhero superhero <laughs> and my father broke into tears oh yeah like everyone um, perceives this movie in different yeah. angles like my daughter was excited my father he he got the emotional part even more <laughs> yeah, you have watched the movie so you yes. know how he why he became emotional yes. you can understand yeah yeah but you know this was a tough shoot um, yes. you're handling covid lockdowns vandalism uh, basil did you ever have a moment and you're handling this big you know idea of of a home grown superhero did you ever have a moment when you just said oh my god why did i start this <laughs> did you ever lose hope <laughs> there was so much of so many instances why i merely had heart attacks like <laughs> it was too much to handle for me i am i am not that strong uh, emotionally yeah. sometimes i break down so quite a lot quite a lot quite often so i had so much of instances during the process but my team was super strong super supportive throughout the process uh coming from the producer first of all uh, sofia pol there was a moment just before the sh- start of the shoot 10 days before the shoot uh, our cinematographer had to mo- move out for another project at the cinematographer that was planned then so 10 days be- just before the shoot so we had our set work started planning uh, everyone everything was going around so i didn't know how to move, move 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 forward without a cinematographer for this kind of a movie so i didn't have an option i was sitting in front of my apartment uh, in the basement without knowing what to do next then the, pro- I, uh, the producer called me and said basil uh, take your time find out a good cinematographer you wish you want to work with uh, she said i started uh, she she had to sell her own house when her business was in a loss and then years later she bought back back her house after uh, the business, good successful business yeah. so she had gone through all these things so this is just something you can pull off so then uh, samir tahir came into so that happened for a reason so samir tahir was like he is a filmmaker himself he is a good cinematographer he is a producer so he was like a big pillar of support for me mentally throughout the process because someone experienced like him standing tall uh, right aside you i was i told him the script uh, for i me- met him for the first time when i narrated the script so i uh, so i was very conscious and uh, anxious of meeting him he is like very experienced person very senior a very senior very serious <laughs> very serious <laughs> so our uh, our childishness our jokes might not work with him but he adapted so well with our crew with our, us uh, soon uh, so it was so much of relief for me at times of this kind of stress uh, i had during the shoot samir tahir and also he he didn't commit any other movie in the process of these problems because he, he really wanted to finish this movie and move. he had good offers for even from bollywood as a cinematographer but he didn't choose any because he wanted this movie to be completed also our art director manu jagat he, he also didn't commit any other movie for 3 years i mean like 2 years 
without go, uh, because he knew whenever we wanted to start the shoot he have to be ready yeah. he cannot be in another project so he was also a big support system uh, with the set because we did mostly with practical effects we didn't depend too much on vfx on, on the movie because we we didn't have uh, the budget we have a limitation even though it's a big budget in malayalam we have that limitation we have to make it look grounded and as real as possible so we depended mostly on practical effects so the, the effort from art director is also very yeah. uh, very important so he was also stood there uh, like a rock uh, also the writers so the team was super good the music director shan raman and sushin shyam they were like super busy people but the time of commitment they have put in you know everyone knew th this movie is going to do something for them uh, they really wanted this movie to come out good yeah. rather than just another project so even if if i look back uh, when i am 60 uh, or something minel murli is not a project for me it's more of an emotion uh, like it's part of my life i learned so much uh, in the process of this movie and i really do think every technician and actors uh, including tovino every actors they all took the movie more emotionally than just another project it's like a you know uh, it's part of our life we learned a lo lot of lessons life lessons in the making of this movie we uh, we we uh, everything happened in the in the process like w whatever you said the vandalism covid everything turned out to be for something good yeah. everything happens for a reason so uh, so uh, we got a better location for climax because of that vandalism we had to shift the location but the climax location looked even big bigger and grandier so we thought that happened for a reason maybe also during the lockdown tobino uh, grew his own beard so that worked for di uh, his different appearances in the movie which helped in the process i have not used a wig yeah he didn't and use and i a have wig. three four getups we had four <laughs> getups in the movie <laughs> also the maybe the netflix release is also maybe something for good uh, yeah. because it can reach so many people across yeah. the globe absolutely so everything happened for a reason so i really do believe uh, this movie have learned i mean like taught us so much of lessons yeah we have learned lot of things we have cried together we have <laughs> smiled together laughed out together we have fought and uh, but we we didn't even uh, for a moment regret our decision to Should this to do it. Yeah. 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 yeah, we didn't really lose hope because yeah. Yeah. that's lovely. <laughs> that's lovely. Uh, to me, you, know, you say you really want to be loved, uh, but you're one of those actors who's not afraid to be unlikable on screen. <laughs> uh, you know, in this film, of course, you're heroic and you're very charming and lovable. But you've done Kala in mean, Kane Kane. I mean, all these films, you're playing men who are. not attractive or you know people who would be scary to be in a room with uh, right <laughs> um, yes. you know do you do you think at all about image or does that not matter at all no i want everyone to love to we know the person not my characters certain characters they they should hate uh, and i am someone who started off as a small time actor I still remember the first day of my shoot in my life. The first time I stood in front of a movie camera was on 28 January uh, 2012, morning 9 a.m. I'm standing in front of three, four actors. I'm struggling to uh, not get masked behind them. From the I've I've come a long way, I guess. So I started doing villain roles, supporting characters, comedian roles. I did a comedian role in YouTube Brutus, and that's when Basil found me. That's when he uh, called me up, and he uh, he said he want to cast me in Goda. And I've done villain roles roles again. I've done supporting roles again. Even after being a lead actor, I did Virus, Lucifer, yeah. or even um, uh, latest uh, release Kuru. was yeah, Kurup. Yeah. So for me, I should have the freedom to do whatever I want. I don't want others to decide for me. Like, I should be excited uh, about whatever I am doing. Yeah. Kala, I was excited not only because uh, I, I had so much to do the politics. Yeah. Uh, I believe in Super that. Superb film. Yeah, I believed the same idea as, uh, and I loved working with Rohit, and same uh, here in Manu Asogan, and 
I don't mind playing flawed characters because people around us, they are flawed. Not everyone is an ideal human being. Even I am not an ideal human being. So, uh, by doing that, I am trying to um, like uh, work hard and find my own uh, potential. Like, I am not, I don't know how, how much potential I have. I am trying out, by trial and error, I am finding out, okay, yeah. I am capable of this, I am capable of that. So, I am learning. It's a process of learning. Uh, I don't know if I have done all my characters perfectly, I don't know that. But definitely I have improved from the time I started and I am constantly improving. And I am making sure that I am constantly improving. I never wanted to get typecasted. I never want to be in the safe zone. Because I will get bored easily. I, how, how can... Uh, I am someone who gets bored very easily. How can I do similar characters again and again? I don't want to do that. If I am getting bored of myself, how can I expect people to not get bored of me? <laughs> yeah, this is true. So, it's, uh, the, the image, I, I think it's a misconception that... Uh, I think a lot of them have a misconception that if you start doing small characters or supporting characters, uh, you lose your image and you will not get uh, uh, lead roles. I have done several supporting characters and he gave me Minal Murali. Yeah, and, there you go. And, <laughs> and um, in Hollywood, haven't you seen people Absolutely. doing all kind of characters? Yeah. In Django Unchained, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was not concerned about his image. Yeah. Absolutely. No, it's all no. about the characters. No. It's all about the characters. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Last question because I have been signaled to stop now. <laughs> oh my is, God. Don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Basil, you've talked about how Malayalam cinema always made good films, but... Uh, you know, they didn't travel and that's changing now. So, I want to sort of humbly make a suggestion that one of the reasons perhaps they didn't travel as much is because it's so hard to get Malayalam artists to talk. <laughs> I have to say, it's wonderful. The lack of interest in self-promotion is amazing to me, but thora you'll have to push, no? Can you, can you... You know, okay, take I, my I, cause. I, I, I'll, I'll tell uh, something about myself. Yeah. So, uh, I'm someone who is not very proficient in English language. And I don't feel that it's a, uh, like... Uh, it's a problem. It's a problem. Yeah, not at all. Because I'm here not because I am the HOD of the English department in some college exactly. in Kerala. I'm exactly. here because I'm an actor. Yeah. And I had these inhibitions. I know, but... That's when I thought of, okay, Lionel Messi and uh, 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 like Ronaldo, they could achieve so much without speaking so much English and fluency. Then why don't I try? And the only thing I was concerned was promoting my movies, not my image. Yeah, exactly. I don't yeah. mind if people make fun of me. It's their problem. <laughs> okay. I wanted to promote my movie. When you called me, when Bharat Rangan called me, I said instantly said yes because I wanted to promote Kala. I was sure that Kala uh, can do well outside Kerala. And recently it won the Best Feature Film Award from Chicago International Indie Film Festival. Wow. Okay. So, uh, um, so I give priority for movies. So, and uh, let me tell you something. Why my English, I am not very proficient in English language. I studied in English medium school. In, uh, but uh, back then, my friends used to make fun of me when I speak in English. So that's how we do. Mm? We are small town boys. Come on. And uh, when um, the principal said in the SM school assembly that from tomorrow, if anyone speaks in Malayalam, you will get fine, like hundred rupees fine or uh, ten rupees fine. I think back then it was in school, ten rupees fine. And from the next day, it will be pin drop silence. <laughs> that's how we responded to that. We never uh, used... Of course. Yeah, we never w had to speak in English. Yeah, yeah. And English is just another language. Absolutely. I'm fluent in my mother tongue. Yeah. Let's talk in Malayalam. Which I can tell you, I at least... Vicky Kaushal and Raj Kumar Rao have told me, we want to consider learning Malayalam because they're making the best movies. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm happy that I can, my Malayalam is fluent. Exactly. <laughs> so, so, will the two of you go back and try and convert more of your fellow artists? I, I think we can be good examples. Like, yeah, you guys can be... It's not about English or grammar. It's about absolutely. our movies. It's about, about our ideas. It's about filmmaking. It's about acting. Yeah. 
Yeah, we are <laughs> called here just because we are actors and directors. Yeah. And, uh, it's and not a English recitation or something like exactly. That. And now you have fans all over. So uh, thank you for coming to Mumbai and doing this. And please continue. Thank you so thank much. You so thank much. you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you. Absolutely. Yeah, pleasure.